South Korea records yet another new fertility rate low, with the number of babies born in the first three months of this year recording an all-time low for the first quarter. Also, the population drop continues with the number of deaths in March sur surpassing that of births. Our Lee Soo-jin tells us more. South Korea's shrinking population continues to be a real challenge for the nation to overcome. Data from Statistics Korea on Wednesday shows that the number of births in March came to 21,138, down 8.1 percent from the previous year. That's the lowest figure on record for the month of March. According to an official from the agency, this reflects the growing tendency for married couples choosing to have fewer or no children. The nation also saw its total fertility rate in the first quarter fall 0.06 on year to 0.81, the lowest on record. Meanwhile, the number of deaths dropped 35.2 percent from the previous year to around 28,000. The agency said that the sharp on-year decline was partly due to the large number of deaths last year amid the COVID-19 pandemic. This brought the natural decline in population to some 7,000 in March, maintaining similar levels to the previous month. South Korea has now seen a monthly drop for 41 consecutive months. The number of marriages, however, rose nearly 20 percent to more than 18,000, largely attributed to the pent-up demand created by the pandemic, making for a busy wedding season. There was also an on-year rise in divorces. In March, there were some 8,000, up nearly 5 percent compared to the previous year. Meanwhile, according to data released by the agency on the same day, the nation saw its lowest population mobility in 30 years for the month of April. The number of people relocating last month fell 5.6 percent on year to 455,000. The agency says this was driven by the aging population as older people tend to migrate less. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.